Well, hello everyone. What could be happening to this poor gentleman here? He looks like he's being attacked by, I assume that's a girl, and there's a boy there, but a boy who needs a good haircut. And look, there's a woman sitting on the sofa, not, not coming to his aid. But the man himself, he seems fairly happy about being mounted by his... Well, I assume they're his children, I'm not sure. Why is he happy? He's quite close to the carpet, isn't he? But I think he's happy because that carpet is spotless. It's pristine. And the reason it's pristine, I assume, is because that family owns a Bissell, home to a deeper clean. Wow. Well, inside this huge, huge box is something that is hopefully going to help me get my home cleaner than it is. And it is fairly clean now, but uh, I wonder if this Bissell Hydro Clean Complete will do everything that Bissell claim, and indeed everything that Ideal World, the home shopping channel, claimed for this machine. This is where I got it from, Ideal World, because it was on considerable offer. Plus I had the option of spreading it over for easy payments, and I've also got the option of sending it back. This is a Hydra Clean Complete. This is a UK version. It has quite a large 2000 watt motor. I don't think in the USA the motor will be um, as high wattage as that. And I bought this after the EU regulations came into effect limiting vacuum cleaners to 1600 watts. But I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, that it doesn't actually include multifunction cleaners like this one. But anyway, this was probably produced before the legislation anyway, so um, it's 2000 watts. And it's a multifunction vacuum cleaner, it's a regular vacuum cleaner. You see it's got a turbo brush and all the other tools you expect. It's also a hard floor cleaner, it's also a deep cleaner, deep cleans carpets and upholstery has a built-in heater and everything you could possibly need hopefully in a vacuum cleaner has a couple of bottles of sample solution in it as well but enough of me talking about the box let's open the box and see what's inside well here I am again poised with the trusty scissors and we'll first take off the tape it's securing the lid of the box and open up and see what's inside. Oh, it's very well packed. You can't quite see very well, but I'll have to tilt the camera forward, or the box forward in fact, not the camera. This is useful for me in case I need to box it back up. It's very easy to get things out of the box, but Getting them back in is another matter. So, initially we can see, I believe that's the caddy that holds the small cleaning tools. This looks like the hard floor washing head. This looks like the turbo brush. And the nozzle here is the regular carpet and hard floor head. Right, let's take all these bits out first and then we'll see what's underneath. Well, I've got the instructions here. They're not very good instructions. If they're anything like the instructions I've looked at online, they're not very clear. Some people have complained about the instructions. That's quite an old leaflet. Bissell have changed the packaging of all their formulas. But there's free shampoo, special offer, buy two and get another free. Direct from Bissell. Aha! First of all, we have a warning notice. Important, this is a water filtration vacuum cleaner. It's important to always use water in the collection tank. Be sure to fill with clean tap water up to the tank fill line. There's two fill lines apparently on this machine. One is the fill line for when it's being used to pick up liquids or shampoo, and that's the dirty fill line. But when using it as a dry cleaner, you do have to fill it with some water, and there's a fill line on the back. We'll look at that later on. Some people have complained that it didn't have much suction, but it could be because they didn't follow the instructions. There is an optional breakdown plan, I might look into that, see how much that costs if I decide to keep this. And uh, some details about shampoo in 
That could be Arabic, I'm not sure. And here's the instructions, Hydro, Hydro Clean Complete, it's 81N7, the model. And yes, they aren't very good, these instructions. Lots of small black and white pictures at the front and then the text at the back. I hate instruction books like that. Get your act together, Bissell. You need a bigger colour instruction book and it would be nice to have the illustrations with the text underneath each illustration so people really know what they're doing but I'll fathom all that out I'm sure so I'll put that to one side and we'll get out all the bits here we have standard carpet and floor nozzle pretty familiar design that at least it's got a metal sole plate which is good two litter pickers you've got suction channels going up to the edge and also foot operated lever to lower the brushes for when you're cleaning hard floors can't see where it's made, nothing on it. The whole machine is made in China, of course. So I assume that that's made in China as well. Put that to one side, let's get out this next. This is your hard floor cleaning nozzle. Inside the box there should be two microfiber pads that fit onto here with Velcro. So what happens when you're using it to wet clean your floors the solution actually moistens the pad and then you go up and down on the floor to loose, loosen any dirt. There's a brush here to help with stubborn dirt as well. And to dry the floor there's a squeegee and a, si and a suction channel here and it goes right up to the edge too to leave your, leave your floors fairly dry. Again we'll be seeing how that works in a later full review and demo. This is for your hard, not your hard floors, I suppose you might be able to use it on hard floors. This is the turbo nozzle with an adjustable vent according to the type of carpet. If you've got it on longer pile carpets and rugs you'd have that open. For normal pile, short pile carpets you'd have it closed. It does feel quite plasticky compared to say um, a German made one. You've got rotating brushes here. And there seems to be, yes, there's an access area. You can get access, slightly get access to the internal workings if you need to unblock it. So that's what you'd use for your carpets mainly, your dry vacuuming of carpets. This little device is if you've got a blocked sink, you can actually put that over the plug hole always you have to first if you've got an overflow on your sink you need to cover that up as well otherwise there will be no suction and that is designed to help unblock a blocked sink useful to have here's the tool candy that holds the small tools when you're using it in dry mode and it's also if you look on the back you can actually put two screws into the wall say in your cupboard under the stairs or something if you want to store it on the wall you can do so that's your tool caddy what else? One of the extension tubes. Now it's plastic, but feels fairly sturdy. These tubes work when you're using the machine in dry mode. They also work when you're using the machine in shampoo mode. Because they do carry the cleaning solution through them. You see on the end there, it might be better to see on this one. And that's where the nozzles connect up so the cleaning solution does pass through the back of the tube and through the hose as well so you get two of those this is the main carpet washing head completely clear so you can see all the dirt being sucked up no revolving brush on this model you just have three rows of static brushes to help agitate the fibers and two flared brushes either side so it should clean right up to the skirting board so that is your main washing tool I haven't found the small washing tool it should have a small washing tool as well remove the polystyrene Let's see what else we've got 
that's quite a nice long hose. I still haven't seen the small washing head or the shampoo, but hopefully it will be in here. Here's the hose, all strapped up together. And here's the handle. It's all quite big and bulky. This handle has a trigger here, little red trigger, to release the shampoo solution when you're using it in deep clean mode. It all connects up, it's all internal, the tubing for the clean water for the shampoo and solution, it's, uh, it's inside the hose. It all connects up at the machine end through that little thing there. So that's that. Right. Ah, right. I was a bit I was a bit concerned that I was missing something, but I've just spotted it. It's inside the cleaner. It is a hefty machine, I must say. Now, Bissell did introduce this for people who didn't have room, apparently, to store a separate vacuum cleaner and carpet washer. But really, it is quite a big, heavy vacuum cleaner. So it's probably going to take up just as much room as having your own upright cleaner, especially if you've got a compact upright and a smaller carpet washer, upright carpet washer, it probably takes up just as much room. But anyway, here is the main unit, and this is the dirty water tank. And inside the dirty water tank, I can take off the lid, we have got some other bits and pieces. Let's have a look what's inside. Right, now what's this? Didn't expect to get this. This wasn't pictured, but it's some sort of a, a bag. I assume it's for putting some accessories in. Looks a bit kinky, I suppose, if you were that way inclined. It is quite a sort of a hood shape. I could put that on my head, pull the toggle, and play some very naughty games with that, but I don't think that's what Bissell meant for you to do with a bag. But being sort of a mesh material, I'm not going to suffocate if I do decide to play some fun games with it on my head. Maybe it might come in useful during Halloween. Who knows? Though not this Halloween because I always turn all the lights off and hide upstairs. So, if you're in my area kids, I used to get, get you sweeties but I don't agree with it anymore so I don't. Here are the two microfiber pads that fit onto the hard floor head. They are machine washable apparently. Here, oh yes, more tools. Here we have the small upholstery nozzle. You can do your stairs with that as well. You've got litter pickers either side. So, uh, yeah, looks okay. Uh, here we have the small wash head, which is ideal, again, for deep cleaning your stairs, deep cleaning your upholstery, your car interiors, your seats, your, your, your foot wells. You've got two rows of static brushes there, you've got the suction channel at the front and at the back is where the shampoo sprays out onto the fabric. And it's got a clear window at the front so you see all the dirt being sucked up, very satisfying to see all your muck. Ah oh, now that's good, oh, I didn't know if this would be. Now this is the crevice tool, Now I was wondering, because I couldn't tell from the picture, if this was a spraying crevice tool, and indeed it is, if you see there, there is a little nozzle. So that's ideal, if you need to clean, like at the sides of um, your carpets, sometimes you get a black line, if you don't continually clean up to the edge, you can get a black line, especially in older houses, it's just dust and muck that comes up through the floorboards and you'll see a horrible black line all along the edge of the carpet. Using this spraying crevice tool directs the solution into a fine jet just behind this nozzle and you can go along and clean things like that. It'd be also ideal for tight spaces. So as well as using that for dry, which of course you can, using it in wet mode with the um, shampoo solution, you can use it as a, um, a deep cleaner for very tight spaces. Ideal for inside the car as well, I'd, I'd expect. 
What else have we got in here? Ooh, inside Pandora's box. We have a dusting brush. Obviously that doesn't spray, you wouldn't want to spray anything. That's been blanked out. But inside, that is not too bad. They look like natural brushes, bristles. That's fairly soft. Fairly soft, that's okay for doing your blinds, I would have thought. So that's your round dusting brush. What else? You know, when you spend a fair amount of money, and Bissell aren't the only one, Vax um, do this as well, you never get a full size of cleaning solution. Very rarely do you. So in this one, you just get an eight fluid ounce bottle, 236 mil, so that's less than a quarter of a litre. Fortunately, I do have quite a lot of Bissell solution. I've got cheap, so I've got plenty of different solutions and different fragrances to use in this machine. So if you ever buy anything like this, a deep cleaner, and you expect to do your whole home with it, get some more shampoo, because don't rely on the tiny little bottle you get with the machine. So that's that one. This one, I don't have any other hard floor cleaner. I don't know what this is like, but I'll be using this particular solution when I'm testing it on cleaning my kitchen floor, which is absolutely filthy actually, so I might actually do that shortly using this particular hard floor formulation. Again, eight fluid ounces, 236 millilitres. I think that's everything. Have a feel about. There's nothing else in there. Oh, that's what you have to do, yes. So here, quite large, is your tank for all your dirty water. That's the fill line on the side for when you're using it as a deep cleaner or using it to suck up a spillage. But there's a line on the back, a, sh a lower line here, look. You need to fill it with cold water to this line before you use it as a dry vacuum because it's a water filtration vacuum. It doesn't use a bag or a cyclone. It uses water as the main filter medium, so as it picks up the dry dirt and dust, it goes into the water, the water traps the dust and the larger debris. So that's what that does. And loose in the bottom is a little foam, washable foam filter. But I thought that had fallen out the top there, because there's one here, but it looks like it's a spare. So that's good, a little spare filter. This is the other filter. Well, this is the one I just showed you that's the spare. You need to keep that clean as well. But you can rinse that underwater to give it a good clean from time to time. So that's the lid of the tank. There's also a dial at the front that you need to turn when you're using it in different modes. So it's on wet clean now and it turns around. When using it as a dry vacuum, you need to make sure it says filter vac. I'll go into more detail in my full review just take that off because it's getting in the way. So you just have that to do. Wet clean one way, that's when you're deep cleaning and there's another way where you can remove it if you need to remove this part to clean it. So I'll just turn it to filter vac so it's ready to use as a dry vacuum cleaner. So the tank goes in there. That's it. It's got a nice handle to take it to your sink or I would think the best place to empty this, especially when you've picked up um, larger debris, is down your toilet or down your outside drain, rather than the sink, because it might block the sink up. But if you do block your sink up, of course you can use, where is it? You can use this to unblock the sink. But it's best, I think, especially if you've been cleaning up after a pet spillage, pet accident, if you're house training a puppy or um, child or relative or anybody who's been ill somewhere. You don't really want that down your sink, do you? So put it down your loo or outside drain. You've got a carry handle here. It is heavy. It is a heavy machine, especially there's no water in it yet. Now, got the flex on the back. That actually fits round here. This is the back of the machine. And you wind the flex around here, but you pull that out first then you wind the flex round, and when you want to release the flex, you just push that, and then the whole flex will come off. You've got three buttons here. You've got a built-in heater, 
which you use that when you're deep cleaning, so it heats the water. You always put warm water in it anyway, a hot water, tap water, not boiling, just um, hot water from the tap. But that, the built-in heater will actually maintain or increase the temperature of the water, so you've always got the optimal temperature for the cleaning, according to Bissell. That's your mains on off, and that is your wet clean button. Obviously, when you're using it as a dry vac, you don't have that pressed in. That turns the pump on, so you don't need it when using it as a dry vac. And at the back here, we've got your clean water tank. And it's quite much bigger than I expected it to be. I thought this would be smaller and you'd have to be forever emptying and refilling, but it seems quite a good size. And here's a big cap. I'm not sure, I think that acts as a measure as well. There is a line on the inside there, but I'll check everything in the instructions. And you've got a fill line here, fill line to top with hot water. And, and it's one full tank. I do apologize about that dog. It's very common to have a dog barking. It's one of those common dogs, not, not like I have. Well-behaved, beautiful little dogs. It's one of those big Alsatian types. So, apologies. Right, so that's your clean water tank that fits into the back there. When using it as a deep cleaner, or when using it for washing your hard floors, you'd put the solution in there as well. But when you're using it as a dry vac, if I can reach over under all this pile of everything I've got here, that's your tool caddy where you can fit. Now I believe this will fit, this will fit the three small tools and it should also fit the small washing head. Yes, because there's space to put them all in. Not sure if that's in right, but there may be a specific way you're supposed to put them. But anyway, they all fit in there. Got your all-purpose nozzle, your dusting brush, your spraying crevice tool, and your smaller deep cleaning nozzle. All stored neatly on board there, so that's good. Got a little swing quick clean guide ticket on here, designed and developed in the USA. It's got some assembly very basic assembly and again shows what to do before vacuuming it's it's mainly pictures though at least they're in color and you've got um, some filters and what to do for maintenance so that's good to have that quick guide for people who don't want to look through the instructions if you don't want to look through the instructions you can just watch the video that will be following because I'll be showing you step by step what you do two big wheels on the back and they've got very nice rubber coating on them, a rubber tyre. So this shouldn't harm your hard floors. Let's have a look if there's a swivel at the front. Let's just take everything off. Oh, keep forgetting, you need to press this button to release that. Then we can take the tank off. It seems quite robust. Yes, at the front, got one of these big, it's a big caster, that looks like sort of caster you'd have on a Henry, similar sort of thing. So you've got a very big swivel caster at the front. And here we have Bissell Grand Rapids, Michigan, made in China. And um, it's got a UK consumer telephone line, and it says 1600 to 2000 watts on the rating plate. It did seem quite loud on the demonstration, on the ideal world demonstration. In fact, it didn't sound very healthy, the, the vacuum they were using. But um, I'm not sure. I'm expecting it to be fairly loud, but you never know. Might be okay. So, that's the unboxing of the Bissell HydroClean Complete. I think I'm going to give this a little test and tune in in a few weeks time and I'll do a proper full demo and review and we'll see whether I'll be taking Ideal World up on their 14 day money back guarantee or possibly keeping this vacuum cleaner. We will have to see. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to subscribe please do and you'll be updated every time I upload a new video for your perusal. Until then, 
It's goodbye from me.